up everybody welcome back to pens and tea my name is carrie and today we are going to talk about the edison collier uh first things first did not purchase this pen this pen was sent to me very very kindly and sweetly uh by the awesome folks over at la Coron de Comte. um but fun fact i have actually had the Edison Collier before. I had the blue steel or blue marble something. I can't quite remember what it is, but it's one of the early days uh, reviews that I've done. So several, several, several years ago. So when I saw this in the unboxing video, check that out because uh, then you'll get a sneak peek. Um, when I saw this in the unboxing video, I was like, all right, I love being able to review pens that I've reviewed like years ago. Um, to see what I think of it. Um, I liked it back then, but I remember it being too big. Um, whereas now, flash forward, forward? Flash forward several years. Um, flash forward several years. Uh, I really like the size now, actually, quite a bit. With the cap on, it's still a little on the chunky side, but you don't use the cap when you write. You can't post it. Um, so it fits really, really well. Um, the grip section is pretty standard among all of their grip sections. So it's just the base of the body. Um, and I really like it. Um, I find myself liking kind of larger pens, slightly oversized pens. Um, not quite as big as like the Mont Blanc 149, although I haven't reviewed that for quite some time. So would be interesting to see what I think of it now. Uh, but I do like larger size pens now. Uh, so clearly this is a good indicator of that. Uh, standard international, um, but like with most Edison's, uh, you can throw a little silicon grease on there, an O-ring if you got one, and eyedropper convert the whole barrel, which, oh man, would fit a ton of ink because that sucker is huge. Um, that's what she said. And this is the new rock candy finish, which based on photos online, I didn't like, but in person, way better. You'll even see in the uh, close up, it doesn't look that great. This material is so hard to capture in person. Um, my close up makes it look much um, lighter than it actually is. In real life, the colors are much more dark. Uh, the reds and the blues, uh, and I mean, slightly purples are, are much, much darker. Um, and the green is what pops it. Um, so I, I really actually quite like it. It's definitely a little flashier, but it's not like luminescent flashy. Um, I do wish it came with a silver trim. This does have gold trim. Um, but that's just personal preference. Um, it does have the uh, resin pen turned smell, which I kind of actually like. Um, not many people do, but I do. Uh, it is a broad steel nib, um, Yovo nib with a plastic feed. Uh, and I'm really, really quite pleased with this pen. Um, much more than I even remember being back in the day. Um, what's cool about these two is because it's a fairly standard nib size, it's just a regular number six. Uh, it's just friction fit, so you can pull it out, you can swap any standard number six size nib with it. Um, so you could do like Goulet nibs, you could do Franklin Kirstoff nibs, basically any standard number six size. Um, so if you don't like, you know, maybe the Yovo ones, you prefer Bach, you can throw that. You can basically do what you want. So <laughs> the only thing that you can't do with this pen is post it. Uh, it does not post. You will break it, but you don't need to because this is a Mondo pen. So I like it. <laughs> uh, definitely a beefy pen. Um, it's a pretty straight barrel. Um, it does bow a little in the middle and taper you know a little at the end but not really that noticeable when you're holding it um the threads are basically non-existent you cannot feel them there's a little bit of a step up where the uh, cap goes on but honestly like your thumb is so far down unless you're gonna hold it way up here you're not gonna feel it so you're golden and even then 
it's well polished so it's not sharp um so i quite like it but with any pen you gotta know how it writes if it doesn't write well it doesn't matter if it looks pretty so let's write with it So as you can tell, very wet writer, which I love. So just going over it once again, this is the Edison Collier. This is the steel broad nib, uh, Yovo nib, but has Edison's uh, engraving there. This is very, very broad, but you can reverse write very nicely. Um, it's pretty smooth, a little bit of feedback. It sounds pretty gnarly if you scratch it like that, but it, it actually feels pretty good and it's still really, really wet, um, which is great. So you can certainly go from a pretty big broad uh, to a fine medium, probably closer to a medium um, because the broad is very, very broad. I'm also not super used to broads because um, I have smaller writing, so it's not something I get that often, but this feels so nice and is basically like a marker. Uh, it lays down very, very nicely. Uh, I find myself just doing that sometimes. It's kind of a little bit of a waste of ink, but it does, you know, like I showed before, come with a pretty large uh, standard international converter and you could also um, eyedropper convert the whole barrel so you can definitely get away with coloring uh, random sections of paper if you so desire uh, it's really really well tuned it absolutely writes under its own weight um, so good job there and again you can just see how wet that is i love it uh never any issues no hard starts no like skippings no nothing it's been a honestly a perfect pen um i mean i've had many edisons many edison pens many edison nib sizes uh and i've never been let down by any of them um one of the fine nibs that i did have needed a little bit of tuning um but honestly that's an anomaly i really really like edison um it's a little bit of a higher price point of course but to be honest i i think I think it's worth it. I really do. Um, of course, that will matter to you. Um, I do wish this had silver trim rather than gold, but that's a personal preference. Uh, and I really, really do like the finish of it. I'm surprised. Uh, but guys, that about it for me today. Uh, I do recommend this, absolutely. Um, if you can steal one from somebody, uh, you know, if you've got the funds, definitely definitely pick one up. Take a look at Edison. Uh, but guys, like I said, that about wraps it up for me today. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. Uh, thank you again to La Corona de Comte for sending this to me. Uh, hit that like button if you like. Hit subscribe if you want to see more every Monday and Friday. Occasional Q&A on Tuesdays or Thursdays. And uh, guys, as always, I'll see you next time. Bye!